online classes are inevitable. What's up guys, it's Ty here from TCM Sports and in today's video, we're not gonna be talking about sports uh, per se, we're gonna be talking about more of, you know, in-person matters and talking about, you know, school and stuff like that. I mean, I, I hope you guys like school, you know, school is a very, very beneficial thing. I like school, but, you know, with the with the recent events here in these past couple months, uh, which uh, cannot be named uh, because of, you know, YouTube uh, guidelines and whatnot, but, you know, a lot of schools in the fall of 2020, their semester, are going to be going online, and I think it's an inevitability. I think the entire country is going to go online. That's just my personal belief. So since I'm a resident of Pennsylvania, we're going to get started with uh, some Pennsylvania schools that have decided to go online. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm sure you guys have known by now. Um, I attend the University of Pittsburgh, or Pitt for short, and right now we are slated to go back to in-person classes for the for the semester, and that's about next month. Uh, but I don't I don't believe that's going to happen. I mean, on Friday, our chancellor told us that he's now kind of weary on sending us back. So I just think it's going to be, you know, inevitable that we do go online. But uh, Westchester is the biggest in-state school in Pennsylvania, and they have decided to go online. Um, and I just think uh, many other schools are going to, you know, follow suit. You know, they decided to stick online because of the uh, the the pandemic that is occurring. And I just can see I just. I just envision other other schools doing that within Pennsylvania. You know, there's like Millersville and, and Lancaster. They um they are doing the hybrid approach. A lot of schools are trying to do like the hybrid approach, like half face to face, half not. I don't think that's gonna work. That's like that's just not gonna work because you're going to be exposing. There's gonna be exposure anyway. If you're gonna you know if you're worried really worried about the exposure and spreading everything, you know why do it anyway? So I don't know. I just don't think online classes are a thing. I know uh, Indiana University or IUP for short, they are also doing that as well. I know a couple of my friends attend that, and I, I've heard that's what they're doing, but I just still just think it's going to be, I just cannot see, I cannot see people going back to classes. And let's just check, you know, more around the world here. The biggest one, the first school that really did it was Harvard. Harvard said that they're, they were going to be going fully online, and, you know, their tuition's not cheap. $50,000 a semester is a lot of money. And I don't know about you, but I am not paying online classes for, for full tuition. The only way I'm going back is if they were to, you know, discount it to a point that I deem, you know, that I would attend the classes, or they just, I don't even know what they could do. I just, I'm just, I think a lot of kids pay for more of the experience and like being around the environment. And if you're not getting that, why pay for that? And I think colleges understand that because they don't want to lose a lot of money. It's kind of like if you're, you know, in the medical field, you're going to have to do, you know, hand-to-hand -hand stuff or, like, hands-on stuff. I don't know how you can do that stuff online. You just can't. I just That makes no sense. Or, like, business, like, as a business major, I'd like to be, you know, surrounded by industry professionals and uh, around like-minded people and, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, Harvard, Rutgers, you know, Princeton, Georgetown, they've all announced that they're going fully online. And, again, I just think... I just think it's going to be an inevitability. And also, how are you going to get uh, kids from out of country to come back in and come to classes? Like, it's just, it's not going to happen. Yeah, Harvard, with their with their arts and sciences college, that's their largest. Yeah, they said they're going to do all online. Harvard said they're doing more of like a hybrid approach as well within this. Uh, Princeton, kind of a similar thing. And Georgetown, allowing some kids to come to campus. But, like, I don't, I don't know. I just don't. I, I just don't get it. But, yeah. So let me know what you guys think about, you know, the current situation. If you guys are college students and do you think you're going to go back? Do you think it's going to, like, all this stuff's going to be fine? Like, where do you guys think it's going to be? And again, if you're not a college student, if you're, like, younger, you know, I'm only thinking about this as a perspective of a college student, but, you know, high schoolers, middle schoolers, elementary school kids, like, they still have to go to school as well and online classes for them. I wonder how that's going to work. A big part of, you know, elementary schooling is, you know, being around, pe like, being around people and really learning how to like talk to other people that's like a huge thing when you're really young and like learning just how to behave in society so i mean i don't know how you're gonna be able to do that if you're just you know not around people and you know it's just i don't i don't know it's just it's really weird it's really weird you know time here and i know it's not a sports video but i just thought you know i had to share my piece on online classes being an inevitability uh, again let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this and if you think you're going to go back, if you think the uh, the situation is going to improve, worsen, I mean, I hope it improves, but I can only see it worsening. 
But yeah, tomorrow I think I'm going to be posting a video on my plans for FIFA 21, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Later.